Return of the Allies. It is late, 1941. After three centuries of Spanish rule, after a generation of American guardianship, the time has come when the thriving Commonwealth of the Philippines can look forward to complete independence. But first, the Philippine Islands, named after Philip II of Spain, are destined to be ruled by another emperor, Hirohito of Japan. The Far East is in turmoil. Under the Americans, Filipinos prepare to defend their freedom. Cavite on Manila Bay, headquarters of the United States Asiatic Fleet. The false calm that shrouded Pearl Harbor lulls Cavite. Cavite's fate, disaster. One Spanish warship, sunk by Admiral Dewey's squadron, lay dead on the floor of Manila Bay, and the Philippines became American. Now, in December 1941, the bones of American sailors litter the harbor, and the Philippines are torn from the United States. Manila goes. Batan goes, and so goes Corregidor. In fire and agony, in smoke and anguish, the Commonwealth of the Philippines is extinguished. The Japanese take over. Japanese army. Americans and Filipinos are stripped of their power, seemingly forever. The vanquished. Americans and Filipinos, whose hope of freedom is gone, seemingly forever. But at Pearl Harbor, two and a half years later, Roosevelt and his chief of staff, Admiral Leahy, Nimitz and MacArthur perfect the grand design for the liberation of the Philippines. The long, arduous advance across the Pacific has brought the Allies to Leyte, in the center of the Philippines. There, in October 1944, the Americans landed with a panoply of naval power such as no ocean has seen since man first went down to the sea in ships. waters and rainforests, the Allies fight their campaign of liberation. Who remembers the names of the beaches, of the towns, of the islands to be taken? Who but those who are there? (laughs) ¶¶ 
largest of the Philippines is softened up, made ripe for invasion. Luzon and the prize of the campaign, Manila. From Hollandia, New Guinea. From Manus in the Admiralties. From Bougainville in the Solomons. From Ulithi in the Carolines. From 10,000 times 10,000 villages, towns, and cities in the United States, New Zealand, and Australia, Allied men and ships converge on the Philippines, on Luzon. Through Surigao Strait they come, sailing westward into the Mindanao Sea, and thence across the Sulu Sea. Through Mindoro Strait, and north into the South China Sea, up along the west coast of Luzon, and into Lingayen Gulf. It is January, 1945.
advancing column spurt toward Clark Field, more than halfway to Manila. Clark Field, core of Japanese air power in the Philippines. Here, American bombers were caught and demolished on the ground in December 1941. Now, three years later, the broken aircraft of Japan make war desolate, the scorched, abandoned earth. at Nasubu, at Legaspi. From northeast and southwest, converging soldiers close on Manila, streaming through liberated villages where war has come and gone. Defenders have converted Manila into one enormous pillbox. Manila ceases to be a civilized city and becomes the cesspool of hell and the final battle for the liberation of the Philippines. Memorial Park, the baseball stadium. But another kind of game is being played now, where one arrow means out, and death keeps the score. the city. Every building a fortress, every wall a rampart. The streets are mined, the intersections barricaded. Enemy suicide squads challenge each crossing, every corner. The battle for Manila. War, block by block, street by street, house by house, room by room. In 
the ancient Spanish section of Manila, called Entramuros, in the business district, the last resistance breaks, as all such resistance must, till the war drums throb no longer, and the battle flags are firm in the Parliament of Man, the Federation of the World. come to lead the Filipinos out of terror into light. The strife is over. The battle done. The song of triumph has begun. 